Hi all, welcome to our channel. Now today we will uh, start learning uh, fabric chairs. Uh, you might have heard of fabric chairs, right? Um, that's uh, today. Let us start learning fabric chairs. So, uh, what is fabric chairs? First of all, <coughs> fabric chairs is. Uh, a powerful JavaScript HTML5 canvas library that is what in short term fabric JS. So um, that let you control the elements on a canvas. So there it will provide a canvas for you. First it will create a canvas for you and then you can create different elements or objects. Then you can start um, controlling these objects um, on the canvas that is what um, uh, fabric is um, and does basically so um, uh, as I said fabric is is a, a JavaScript library a powerful JavaScript library right so we should know uh, different features it has different features like first uh, either you can uh, create your own um, canvas and um, create elements then start controlling start moving start rotating all those uh, things you can do with the objects and the other way is like um, you can uh, from an SVG file you can uh, you can pass the object from an SVG file into canvas and canvas to SVG as well it's possible that parsing is possible from SVG to uh, canvas and canvas to SVG so two things you should remember one is uh, this um, fabric JS is a powerful JavaScript HTML5 canvas library and second thing you can uh, you can you can uh, pass from SVG file to uh, canvas and canvas to SVG also that parser is possible so uh, we know we have loads of um, basically you can draw a lot many things uh, in different different platforms available in the industry right but uh, what is uh, different with uh, uh, fabric JS is once after drawing some elements or objects you can start controlling you can start rotating spinning moving everything is possible right that is uh, that is interaction that interaction with the objects on the canvas is possible using fabric .js. so let us start uh, uh, let us let us uh, let us set up fabric JS in our example for example if you have a big uh, already running existing projects you can easily integrate the fabric JS into your uh, project actually so I will show you clearly how to do that and how to set up the fabric JS how to integrate into your existing application that all uh, I will uh, I will explain to you I will give demo as well so first um, you have to browse fabric dot fabric JS dot com okay fabricjs.com so you can see some sample stuff here uh, that all we will, we will show in our application so coming down what happening is that you can download the, uh, the latest version from uh, fabricjs uh, the latest version you can download let us click on download the version then yeah this is what you will get what you have to do is control a then copy it copy it and save into a note file notepad basically a notepad file you can save uh, paste it and then save it okay for example you can save like fabric dot uh, dot js right uh, the folder should be your product uh, your project uh, folder right basically uh, fabric yeah there right somewhere there so uh, that's how you have to save I will show you my folder basically look like um, this right so fabric dot min dot js is there one sample index.html file is there there uh, my UI stuff whatever existing application comes there and our traditional conventional uh, jquery.min.js file also there so that's how uh, it looks in our uh, your application uh, doesn't matter uh, it's bigger or smaller this is how it goes and coming down to the uh, exact file location where to uh, 
include these fabric chairs and how to use everything I will tell you how to set up the canvas how to manipulate the image everything I will explain to you so uh, let me open a file first uh, okay it's already there but let me show you how it works uh, I will show you that this is there uh, then first you have to include our script how you can include uh, script then src equal our fabric js fabric dot main dot js right then close our script close our script then uh, our jquery also let me add src then jquery dot main dot js then let me close that as well okay then uh, let it go to the head section now let me start the body part body then let me close body part yes now let me create a canvas first let me create a canvas with an id equal to underscore canvas then I have to give the width and height right let me give a width of 500 and height like uh, 300 yeah that's perfect then let me close the canvas uh, let me close canvas okay fine perfect so now let me initialize the canvas for that let me open another script yeah now I have to initialize the canvas like variable canvas equal to new fabric dot uh, canvas uh, canvas or which one I have to initialize with this ID right this is the ID I have to give there to initialize uh, our canvas with that uh, height and width okay let me okay once we uh, initialize this let me create a rectangle for a demo rectangle shape just a rectangle shape new fabric dot uh, rect uh, fabric has a method called rect to create a rectangle shape so then the properties should go in a JSON structure so this should be the structure there a rectangle shape can have a width of a property width uh, like um, 200 then height like um, 100 then from top uh, the margin can be like again uh, 75 then uh, left left padding can be again 100 what is the color we are expecting uh, to fill so let me give it color of my favorite orange yes uh, that's how uh, we initialize the rectangular right so once we finish that we have to uh, add this rectangle to our canvas how we can do that let me uh, how to add this rectangle to our canvas here our canvas dot add what should be added here the rectangle right the rectangle which I created I will add let me copy that again yes just add that particular rectangle okay fine so what we did is first we included uh, our fabric dot window case and jquery it's uh, conventional then created canvas with an id width and height next i created uh, uh, i initialized the canvas fabric dot canvas canvas is a method uh, inside our uh, canvas library a uh, fabric js library and next created a rectangle shape then using a rectangle method with all these properties as json structure then I uh, 
uh, added that rectangle to our canvas that's what we did all so let us uh, run this particular file now index.html okay open with the uh, crop yeah yes see the image has been come so uh, this image you have all the option to rotate and uh, size you can change here uh, and move around here all these possible it's interactive basically so that is what uh, uh, the main uh, feature of the fabric is right other uh, whichever you uh, draw that picture it won't be it is um, interactive right so this is the first part of our fabric chairs lesson so there what we did is we just created a canvas and we just uh, created a rectangle shape now we uh, add that rectangle on our canvas this canvas is you know it's um, if you inspect you can see that what is the uh, size of this uh, canvas yeah this is around uh, uh, 300 and um, 500 width and 300 pixel height right this all and again if you come down to our uh, rectangle uh, rectangle is um, around uh, you know we already given right uh, the element size rectangle height and width 100 and 200 pk right so yeah that's what the first uh, first beginning session of the fabric jails um, hope you enjoyed this video if you like this like and subscribe for more videos and press bell icon for notifications we will uh, see in next video please uh, put your comment as well so that i can uh, come up with uh, new uh, topics as well okay thank you